found a uh, sign that says that there's a hiking trail, but um, I, don't see, <laughs> I don't see the hiking trail. There's just this golf cart trail that I'm on right now. Uh, my family and I are camping. Um, not that any state parks are open, but there's some private campgrounds open. And so uh, we pulled our camper out here and um, that's a whole side of my life that I haven't shown you guys. Um, and we've spent the week out here. So uh, that's been kind of nice. We're social distancing, of course. I thought it'd be fun to shoot a video out here today and I'm looking for that. And I found that. I just haven't found the trail. Got my e-bike today, it makes it a lot. A lot easier to get it up and down these hills at my old decrepit age. Uh, got quite a few miles on this thing already. It's a lot of fun. So it makes uh, trail riding and just uh, shooting around town pretty cool. So uh, now it's just ride around and try to find this trail. Still haven't found the backpacking trail. See, this is the bike trail. Here it's the golf cart trail too, but... Uh, by the way, I don't recommend holding a camera of this proportion when you are riding an e-bike that can go 20 miles an hour. Not that I'm going 20 miles an hour, obviously I'm going very slow, but whoo, going downhill right now and uh, trying to record and control this bike at the same time. Not smart. Look what I found. I found a trail. I think this is the other end of the trail. I'm gonna try to park this thing in the woods up here. There's not really too many people at the campground and we'll see how honest people are. <laughs> I don't want anybody taking my bike. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna try to stick it up here in these woods here. Here's the golf cart slash bike trail. Here's the uh, backpacking trail. And uh, here's my bike. <laughs> Pretty obviously not very well hidden. Um, my family, if you're wondering, is back at the camper. Um, my kids are still, whoa, this is kind of, what is this? Why is this here? Uh, kind of creeping me out actually. Makes me rethink if my bike is safe. <laughs> I'm like right here, look at, there's my bike. Kind of weird having this Right here, maybe some kids built it or something. I don't know. It's got a doorway though. Look at. I don't know. <laughs> we'll uh, at least hike in a little bit. Not gonna go too far. It's kind of weird me out a little bit. So we just oh, had to get out of the house. Campgrounds in Wisconsin, like the private campgrounds, like uh, the KOAs and that kind of thing, opened up on May first. So. We jumped on it right away. Uh, we booked our site, and uh, I have been RV camping for several years, and uh, we decided we would just uh, work remotely. My kids are doing school from the camper. My son is on Zoom calls in school. My wife uh, teaches preschool from the camper, uh, and I'm making YouTube videos, so it just kind of worked out. Another weird structure here. I don't know if this is put here by people or Maybe it just came down from this big dead tree. Let's talk about what makes gear worth bringing. Um, first of all, it really should have a legitimate use. So let's take my hat as an example. Um, for me, it's got a legitimate use. Uh, for other people, they don't like to bring hats when they backpack or they maybe just wear a bandana or something. I like a hat because it keeps my head cool in the summer and it keeps a little bit warmer when it's cool outside. Um, and it's got this visor here so it keeps the sun on my eyes and um, I tend to squint a lot in the sun so uh, it looks better on film. <laughs> so uh, the visor is a really useful piece of gear and the hat's a really useful piece of gear so it's uh, a legitimate use in my situation. So basically, if you're looking for a piece of gear to bring and you're not really sure if you should bring it, it's gotta have a legitimate use. Now this is obviously tough because it does take time to learn, especially if you're new, what type of gear is gonna be legitimate out on the trail. I mean, there's the obvious, right? You've got your tent, you've got your backpack, your hammock, your shelter, whatever. Those are obvious things that have legitimate use, but then there's the stuff that's just totally unobvious. Some people like to bring that stuff, others don't. And if it's got a legitimate use for you, then I think it's okay to bring along. But then there's the completely 
illegitimate stuff. <laughs> this is not a joke. I went hiking with someone one time who brought two camp chairs. Yes, two, uh, in case the first one broke. And then number two, it should really have a level of quality to last through your trip and then some. Now, if you're just going out backpacking for the very first time and you just want to see if it's gonna work for you, then fine, buy a piece of gear that's super cheap and it probably won't do the best for you, I don't believe, but it would at least get you through the trip to see if you like backpacking. But if you're gonna make this something you're gonna continually do, then you should really invest in gear that's gonna get you through the trip and last. I think I'm kinda turned around in here. I'm gonna start heading back towards the bike. I got a feeling that the uh, Blair Witch Project Control Center is uh, being infiltrated by weirdos at this point. So, um, as an example, here is something that I did when I first started backpacking. I bought a backpack um, from Walmart. It was an Ozark Trail backpack, actually. Um, when I bought it, it seemed like a good idea and it ripped on my trip, so it didn't last even through the trip. So learn from my mistake and uh, invest in good gear on the front end. I didn't even make it to the other end very far. I'm uh, heading back to the bike instead. Oh, I see it. Safe and sound. I should have put a little more faith in this uh, hut. Probably a very honest person built it. And then one more thing before I get back to my family. Uh, do you see the campers across the farm field there? Um, that's where we're camping this week. Don't bring gear that you would only bring there. So essentially car camping gear is the big version of backpacking gear or backpacking gear is the small version of car camping gear. So if it's the stuff you've been using for years, car camping and it's all you've got, I get it. You know, you can probably get away with it one trip, but you're gonna realize very, very quickly that it was a lot of work to bring that piece of gear out there and there is better gear out there that's smaller and you can get stuff super cheap. For instance, I'll put a link in the description below for a Facebook group where there's a lot of backpacking gear that's sold and a lot of it's great stuff, used gear, that kind of thing. So uh, check that out in the description below. Now it's time to head back to camp and uh, hang out with the family. <laughs> 